Hello everyone, it's Eileen from Worldwide Dolls, and today I'm going to be unboxing my Leah doll, which is a video I promised I would do in the video I uploaded earlier this week. So she arrived today along with two other accessories, and I'm going to be opening it all and um, doing a little quick like overview and like impressions kind of review thing. I can't do a super in-depth review since I'm just now opening it, but I hope you'll get something out of it. So, what comes in the box is this little envelope that just has the surprise gift, which is usually just stickers, and the Leah catalog, as well as the little promo for the movie. And here is the doll. However, I'm going to actually open the doll last in this video and open the two other things I got first. Alright. So, I got one Be Forever item and one item from Leah's collection because I have kind of a tradition of getting something from every Girl of the Year's collection as well as every historical character even if I don't have the doll. So I got one of Leah's items and one of Mary Ellen's items, although I already do have one of Mary Ellen's items, so I'd really like historical items. This is a new Leah outfit, I can slide the box out of the way now I guess. And it comes in just the purple Girl of the Year box. It doesn't say Leah on it or anything. And in here we have this outfit, and I need to check what this outfit's called. I don't actually know. It's Leah's Celebration Outfit, and it is one of the prettiest dresses. This leaked on the internet before Leah was even released. This dress is new, but before she was released, someone had a picture of this dress, and I thought it was so pretty, and I just had to get it. So I'll give you a close-up right now. Here's a close-up of the embroidery on the bodice of the dress. It also has this gold belt, and then it has this tiered skirt, which also has embroidery on it, and that's also gold. So the dress is like a cotton material, and like most American Girl dresses, it just closes in the back with Velcro. Also in the box are these platform sandals. I'll probably have to cut this tag out. And they have just gold soles and a gold decorative butterfly, as well as some trim on the sides. There's also a headband which comes packaged like this, and when you open it up, this is what it looks like. It has one string of different colored green beads, and then two of blue, and there's elastic in the back to position it on your doll's head. Here is an overview of the whole outfit, which comes with three pieces in total, the shoes, the headband, and the dress. I really like this outfit, and I'm glad that they've released it so I could buy it. This item is pretty simple, it just has this elastic waist on the top, which is the same as the waist on the American Girl underwear, which kind of makes sense because this is technically a piece of underwear. And then it has this tulle material that's sewn in three different layers, they're not attached, or they are, they are attached, but like they're separate pieces, it's not just one piece of tulle all the way down. And then it has this ribbon that's like the silky ribbon that they use in the doll's hair when they come sometimes on the bottom. It's going to look very cute on Marley. Now let's move on to opening the doll. I didn't get her accessories, I just bought the doll since I'm planning on changing a lot of her personality and the accessories probably wouldn't have worked very well with her new character. So her name is actually not going to stay Leah, her name is going to be Maya, which is spelled M-A-J-A. And I've liked that name for a long time, so I'm glad I finally get to use it on a doll. Her box is just the Purple Girl of the Year box. And it has a picture of her and her accessories on the front, as well as a picture of the book with that. And I think these are the accessories she comes with, the necklace and the backpack, but not her other accessories. So her box is Leah Clark, and I'm thinking that the other girl of the boxes for some reason, like I'm thinking they didn't have the last name, so that might be a new thing, but I'm not positive. Alright, so you open the box. Just pull this off. It's just a normal AG doll box. And in here we have the little plastic tray with her book, which is Leah Dives In. And I've already read this book, but I don't own the book, so now I have it to keep. And in here we have her messenger bag, which I'll give you a close up in a second, as well as her necklace, which is a compass. And that's a big part in her story, so if you haven't read that. Here's Leah's messenger bag, and it's just this canvas brown material with an embroidery of um, 
not embroidery, but it's supposed to look like embroidery. It's a stamp of her logo as well as stitching on the strap. And the two little buckles don't actually buckle. They just open with Velcro. And she can keep all her things for exploring Brazil in there. Here's Leah's compass necklace, and I'm pretty sure it's not a real compass. Maybe it is. No, it's just a decorative piece. But the straps are the strap of the necklace actually pulls so you can adjust the size of it which I think is really nice because a lot of the American Girl necklaces either have really small metal clasps or don't clasp at all and they just hang really long on the doll so I really like this accessory even though it is plastic it's pretty realistic looking now I'm going to open Leah's box One thing that I didn't mention that Leah comes with is this little card that says how to care for your doll with straight hair. And I don't really agree with this because Leah doesn't have straight hair, she has wavy hair. But I think American Girl only makes cards for textured, straight, and curly hair. So I wish they also made one for dolls with wavy hair since their care is different than dolls with straight hair. Here's what the Leah doll looks like out of the box. And I did not get her ears pierced, so I don't have her exclusive earring set, so I can't comment on that. And the reason I didn't get her ears pierced is because I find that a lot of my dolls, when I do their hair, their hair gets caught on their earrings, and that kind of annoys me, so I decided not to do that. She comes in this very pretty sundress with a belt, as well as these shoes, which are blue, and this orange and yellow lacing. So I'm going to take her hairnet off now. And we can get a good look at her hair, which I really love. Her hair is kind of the main reason I got her, and it is so pretty. I'm going to get a different way to set her up, I think, so you can see it better. Here is a good close-up of what the Leah doll actually looks like. She has hazel eyes, which I can do a close-up on in a second. And her hair has different highlights in it, if you can see on the top. Her hair is pretty long. And it probably needs to be waved a little bit since it was kind of messed up from being in the hairnet. But it goes down to about her waist. And then if you pull the curls, of course it goes down to like in her knee level maybe. So uh, overall I really like this doll. And here's a close up on her eyes for you. I don't know if that's in focus. There we go. Um, she has the lighter slash brighter hazel eyes, not the more brown ones, they're the more green ones. And one of my favorite things is her eyebrows, because I think they look really stylized and nice. She has a really pretty coral lip color that I think really complements her coloring. Overall, I really like this doll, and I'm glad I was able to purchase her while she's available for this year. If you're looking to get this doll, I would definitely recommend her. She's probably also a good doll for younger girls, because her hair doesn't take that much care, and you can just braid it if you don't want it to get messed up. So, um, that's about it, and I will see you next time. You can also check out my Instagram for some pictures of Maya and some pictures of my dolls wearing the new outfits I just got. Bye!